Now for the top story tonight, reaction to our investigation. Joining us now from Atlanta, Phil Kent, author of the book Foundations of Betrayal, How the Liberal Super Rich Undermine America. And here in the studio, conservative radio talk show host Monica Kraut. Monica, begin with you. Uh, did I leave anything out? No, I think you were right on. And you know what? This is an incredibly well-oiled, brilliantly orchestrated machine. And as you pointed out, it's also a brilliant way to get around the campaign finance laws in this country. You have one guy in George Soros. You had mentioned big business had been criticized for this stuff before. Here you've got all of this power in the hands of one guy because he's got a billion dollar fortune where he can put his money wherever he wants. The problem is twofold. Number one, transparency. This guy's been able to fly under the radar for a long time before you just exposed him because the mainstream media protects him because they're on the same ideological Okay, and page. also because it's a complicated, you see where the money flow goes. Can you put that chart up again? because it goes through three or four places right. before it gets to the intended source. Exactly, but you know, this is a web, but it's not a particularly tangled web because as you pointed out it's in clean. this chart, you can, t you can trace it back two or three organizations away from George Soros. He's, he's not even making an attempt to keep his fingerprints off of this. And the other point too, Bill, is accountability. So you have transparency, okay, which he's trying to, to obfuscate with this kind of web, but also accountability. So he can finance websites like you mentioned, Media Matters, other organizations that will go out there and smear right-wing politicians, smear right-wing uh, pundits and commentators and so on, and there's no accountability because it's floating out there on the yeah, web. But we, we, we live in a thing of freedom of speech. Now, Mr. Kent, you know, you've got to admire Soros for coming up with this, um, with this organization. I mean, you know, he's made billions by doing this in business, by being in Curaçao and Bermuda and France, where he was convicted of a felony. Um, and, and he knows how to do this. He knows how to move the money around and use it to gain influence. And now he set his sights on changing the basic fabric of this country. Well, that's right. George Soros is really the Dr. Evil of the whole world of left-wing foundations. In fact, one of his most chilling quotes a few years ago was that the main obstacle to a stable and just world is the United States. He really hates this country, and uh, he funds these things, uh, as your chart points out, and, and open borders and even uh, radical Islamic groups that defend suicide bombers. So this guy is well, all you, over wait, the map. I didn't have that on there. Now, what's the radical Islamic group that defends suicide bombers? Uh, the, the American Arab uh, Anti-Discrimination Committee Research Institute is a Soros recipient, and they've actually defended suicide bombers. And I've got this in my book, and how he funds uh, La Raza, the race, the open borders, yep, advocacy he funds group, La Raza, and others. So we group. know that. Now, what is the intrusion of the mainstream media? Because you have some pretty big names. Bill Moyers? Uh, Wednesday night he's going to take a big shot at the press um, on PBS. Uh, we know he's in bed with uh, Soros. Um, Rosie O'Donnell, not taken seriously, but certainly a platform every day on ABC. New York Times, uh, two of their uh, main columnists, uh, Newsweek Magazine, Jonathan Alter, and uh, NBC News, where it's pitiful, but they have commentators that, that basically take ex exactly what Soros gives them and spit it out over the airwaves. That's a lot of power, is it not? It's a lot of power. Soros really does believe wealth controls culture, and he wants to really control the political scene in the United States and the media. And as your chart points out, it's very chilling, the groups that he is funding through the Open Society Institute. You know, the assets alone of this private tax-exempt foundation, over $175 million. Wow. And as you point out, he, uh, he loves the Tides Foundation, a big left-wing tax-exempt yeah. foundation. Oh, I, I didn't know it was that high right now, $175 million tax rate. Now, Monica, yeah, if, if you're like uh, Lieberman and you're a moderate Democrat, Soros can put a big hurt on you fast. That's right. I mean, I mentioned right-wing commentators, right-wing politicians, but if you are a moderate, responsible Democrat who happens to take a different point of view than George Soros, you are just as much of a target. Now, we believe that John Edwards has uh, forged some kind of a arrangement with Soros. Um, I can't prove it beyond a reasonable doubt, but his actions are pretty much dictated by move on. He's absolutely right in with those people. Have you seen that? 
I have heard that reported, uh, Bill, and you know that's the real danger here is that these there are campaign finance laws on the books to prevent exactly this, to prevent a politician from being held in the pocket by a fabulously rich guy like George Soros. Yeah, I mean, this but is then off if the you chart. don't, that's right. Really and then is. if you don't toe the line, you run the risk of being cut off by somebody like this. Well, we're and, and, that's, and, and, and attacked, and, and attacked. you do not want and, to court that danger. And, not if you're running right. for president. And they don't stop at you. They'll go for your family. They'll go for anyone. This kid, I'm going to give you the last word. But are there any Republican or conservative groups that rile sources, rival sources? You, you know, I tell you, the research that I compiled in my book. If you uh, take the uh, the top three conservative tax exempt foundations, they're totally dwarfed by Soros and the radical Ford Foundation. It's probably 15 times more the assets. Remember, MoveOn.org and Soros spent five million alone in anti-Bush ads in 2004. They have got clout. Yeah, it'll be four times, five times that Absolutely. much in the 2008 election. Monica, Mr. For uh, Ken, thanks very much. We appreciate Thank it. You.